hello, how are we doing? It is Thursday. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's Friday for you. So I hope, oh, you guys get to start the weekend, luckies. I still have a whole nother work day to go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've got a bunch of orders again. I mean, the orders just keep piling in. I'm actually uh, pretty surprised by how much I'm selling this week. I guess I'm, I'm listing a little, but not a ton. So, I don't know, something's working. All right, so let's pull orders. I think I have 12, 12 orders, and uh, we'll start off with a slightly inappropriate one. Guard your eyes. Uh, let's see, where is it? BD is where I have it. And this sold for 30 bucks. This was in the lot of action figures I bought for 30 bucks. So I bought the whole lot for 30, and this one sold for 30. Um, it is a slightly scantily clad, little pvc japanese manga character or whatever i was pretty surprised by the value of that one when i looked it up but sure enough it sold 30 dollars 770 shipping so we'll zip right through that one in case there's kids watching um up next we have a book and the book is in a2 that's high up that's right up here that's great oh that's really heavy too i like to Put the heaviest ones on top, apparently. Whew. What's sold? There's a book. Storm Canvas is the name of the book. Oh yeah, this one I remember some pages were falling out. I did disclose that. This is it, I think. Is this it? No, it's a ship one. Hold on. You look, I had a couple of these up in Maine. Um, which one is it? Oh, I should tell you about one of these books. One of these books is worth real good money. Here it is, Storm Canvas. So yeah, this one sold, um, not for much. This one sold for $6.99, $3.45 shipping. This is from 1944. It's called uh, Storm Canvas by Armstrong Sperry. I think it's like uh, just a story. I don't think it's like true or anything. In 1944, um, yeah, just a story. I wonder if it's any good. So this book is maybe worth a lot. It doesn't have a fast sell-through rate. James Tussaud, The Life of Christ. And it's like watercolors. And I looked on Worth Point, and it looks like it's sold several times for $150. We'll see if it actually sells and how fast it sells, but that'd be really cool if it did sell. Whew, putting that back up there was hard. Um, Don't forget I'm streaming tomorrow. Streaming... I'm not really, I've never done it before with StreamYard. We're using StreamYard, I guess I should test that tonight. I'm doing it on the Pequot Resellers channel. I'll put the description here in this uh, video's description. I did put it in yesterday's video's description as well. So if you're watching this Friday, that means tonight. I'm streaming tonight. This will probably go live like four o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe I'll do it at three, just so you have a little more notice. Um, and it's a Friday, but then again, I have an NC Picker video I wanna go live with at around three. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, really. Maybe maybe I'll go live midday with this video. Hmm, we'll see. Um, so we'll go live with this one, and then 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, you can go to his channel, and I don't know. It'll be interesting. Uh, I've not ever done a co-stream before, but it should be, hopefully, fun. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario is it's a train wreck, and you get to watch a train wreck. So, you know, it's not all bad. Hey, speaking of things that are worth more than you'd think... This game here is a bolo, it's a board game. Keep your eye out for it. Uh, definitely worth grabbing for a couple bucks. All right, so this is what sold. It's a duck call, Primus duck call, it's red. I don't know what kind of duck it is, some sort of duck, but it sold, um, sold for $14.94 plus $4 shipping on that one. And I listed it as a vintage Primus. Did I spell Primus wrong? Can't tell. I sold it as, I oh know, Primos. That's right, Primos. Madam Mod 837. That was a sell similar. So I saw one that had sold like that. So I listed it for pretty much the same exact amount and it sold. All right. So what else did we sell? Let me get back over here. So we got the, the book, the figure. Oh, some O Snaps sold. I love it when O Snaps sell because they're so incredibly easy to ship. They're down here. How many did I sell? I sold a lot. I sold one to someone named Fiaz. Sold another one to Henry. 
Is that just, yeah. Um, let's see, did I sell any more? Yep, Herman bought two. So, let's see, one, two. So four O-snaps sold today. $30 a piece on those, $29.99. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's great. I got these super cheap from a buddy of mine who founded O-snap. <laughs> and uh, he said I could sell some on eBay and use them on my channel. And so that's what I've been doing. If you guys are interested in those, they're little phone grips that go on the back of your phone. Um, I sell them on my big cartel. And if you're a viewer, you can get a free pink one if you buy a black one. I still have like maybe 10 pink ones left. So the next 10 that sell, we'll get two for the price of one, which is 30 bucks. All right, so my hats keep moving. I sold another hat. You know, slowly but surely these hats are moving. It does seem like there's a price point where they start to go. Um, I'm looking for a corduroy one. There it is, the Mirage. This is like, uh, you know, the hotel in Vegas, I would assume. Oops, dropped it. I assume that's based on the hotel in Vegas. It's in pretty poor condition. So I listed this one a little cheaper because it's a little stained up and uh, all bent and stuff. And as you can see, it was like that one I listed it too. $12.72, that sold four plus $4.80 in Got a comment from James Bashirs. He always, uh, he always comments the little music notes. I like it. He said, uh, this old man loves it when you sell a record. Way to go, Elijah, with your cassette sales. Music note, music note. So he loves music, which is cool. Um, oh, so Nathan commented yesterday and said he sold his Lego Dimensions for 48 bucks. So, yeah, keep an eye out for those Lego Dimensions. They, they do well, especially on the new systems. All right, so let's pull another one. This one I bought this weekend at a sale. Um... A lot of scantily clad people selling today. <laughs> um, it's a CD, and it's in drawer named Drawer. Drawer. And it's right at the top. Selena Gomez. Um, brand new CD. I got it for like a buck at a yard sale this weekend. Uh, I'm still editing that footage. It's taking forever. I don't know why. This week, like, I didn't feel like I hit that many sales, but it's just taking forever to edit. Normally by Thursday night, I will have edited all Saturday's footage. I have not. I think I still have probably at least a whole another video to make out of it. Um, but I have like four videos from it that are, I think, pretty good. So I'm excited about those. Uh, the Selena Gomez rec uh, CD, not record, sold for how much? My wife actually listed this for me. Eleven ninety nine. It sold for brand new, two eighty nine shipping. Like I said, for a buck, I figured you couldn't go wrong. She's still very popular and trendy, so figured it would sell quick. Creepy baby sale. Get excited! Oh, this one's got some creepy legs. Um, what's it called? Handful of purity. So let's grab handful of purity. I need to list this rock band stuff. So I think it's in drawer two. Handful of purity. There's goodness, joy. Oh, must be one of the ones in the boxes. Finally, a boxed one sold. So these are like the original in-box ones. Um, let's see, is that it? Handful of tenderness. Isn't she adorable? Oh, the baby powder. So strong. <laughs> We're looking for handful of purity. These are harder to find. Handful of cheerfulness. Okay. Have I gone live with this video where I bought these yet? I paid 15 for all of them. Handful of innocence. So it's gonna be the last one. That one right there. It's the only one that I haven't opened yet. It's gotta be this one. Because all the rest are open. Handful of contentedness. What? Where is it? Oh no, someone's stealing my creepy babies. Handful of Purity, drawer one. Isn't that where I'm at? Hazel, what'd you do? Did you eat it? Okay, drawer one. No, I'm in the wrong place. Apparently I have more creepy babies. My creepy baby collection is never ending. I thought they were all in that one. Here we go. Take a look here. Oh yeah, there it is. Handful of Purity. My wife spent so much time wrapping these up and tying cute little ribbons on them. And it's pretty funny because, like, I don't think she listed them in that configuration. She just wanted to make sure they were comfortable. <laughs> like, look at this. Look how... You know, she's... oh, I see. She did take a picture of it in the box, too. 
It's very cute. Handful of purity. See, so yeah, look at the little legs, little knobbly legs. Anyways, $19.99. This is the highest price one so far. $20 bucks, um, plus shipping. So that one there is my profit, and then everything else is all gravy. All right, so the next sale was in my most recent video. Hazel, I need the ladder, dear. I need the ladder. Can I move it? Are you going to get mad at me? Hold on tight. Okay. Was that fun? She doesn't like it when I do that. She was sleeping. Um, so I bought this in a video you guys might have just watched if you follow me on my NC Picker YouTube channel. That's where I do all my picking. Uh, it's this Xbox 360. And let me pull it down. And this one, me and my daughter split. Uh, she wanted to get in on it. Paid 30, 20 or 30. I just, I can't remember. 20 or 30, I think 30. Yeah, 30. She wanted to pay 20. I said 30 was fair. And the lady gave it to us for 30. It was really nice condition in the box. I took it out. It's super mint. I sold it for $109.99. And, uh, and this buyer actually contacted me, asked me to add local pickup because they're right down the road. And so I changed it and added local pickup and she bought it with uh, free local pickup. I'll meet her next week so I don't have to pack it, which is nice. I'll just meet her next week and get it to her that way. So yeah, nice. My daughter was super excited because she got like 45 bucks out of her 15 bucks. So a really nice profit for Annabelle. Okay, so here's another fun one um, that you may not know to look for, but most of you guys are pretty smart, so you probably do know. Where did I put it though? I'm trying to hunt it down. I haven't sold any of these pans yet. They may not have been the best buy. We'll see. Maybe I'm pressed too high. Um, but yeah, I sold something in Q9. All right, so I got it. Here it is. It's, a, uh, it's an AC adapter. So this is an interesting one. I want to teach you a little bit about it if you don't know. This is the AC adapter for this guy. His name is Bigfoot from Imaginex. And you can sell Bigfoot. Bigfoot usually goes for like 50 to $80, $40 to $80 really, depending on quality. His battery goes bad pretty often, and this guy's battery was bad. But I saw that he came with the charger, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely buying it. Just so you guys know, he also has a controller. So when you buy him, there's three pieces that you can get. You get the controller, the AC adapter, and the guy. If you have it all, like I said, if you're lucky, you can sell it for 80 bucks. Um, sometimes they go for a little less. They're hard to ship. So I don't like to sell it like that. I like to part it out. Um, so I will sell the remote and I'll sell this. And if I'm desperate, you can sell this little cover here for like five bucks. But I usually don't even bother this guy. You know donate him <laughs> he's cute my kids might keep him i don't know um but the charger is what sold and it sold for 50 dollars. so just that one charger is a 50 dollar charger uh so yeah fisher price toy transformer i think the big thing to look out for if you're looking through cords is this unique um little end here the triangle square that's not very common so and what that does is it charges a little battery that lives inside his foot all right, so I sold a PS4 game out of drawer one, and we will grab it. It should be right at the top. Yep, Rocket League, Rocket Man. Do 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 do. Sold for fifteen ninety nine, plus four eighty in shipping for that one. So that was a nice one. Um, oh, I'll show you this. I got a new uh, Funko figure. I got this Beast Man at the GameStop tonight. Um. I had taken him down, taken down these, okay, so it was May the 4th, right, Star Wars Day or whatever, and my da daughter, who's in first grade, was having like a Star Wars Day on her Zoom meeting, because she's still doing remote school, so she put on like a Sith costume and had her lightsaber, which I should get back, because it's listed on my eBay store, and I don't think she brought it back out here, <laughs> yeah, she didn't, so hopefully it doesn't sell, or it can, it can sell, I just hope, hopefully I can find it. And so yeah, I took these down so she could show them to her first grade class. They were all very excited about these little Star Wars guys. Um, but yeah, so I'll put them back up. I had put that there because there was nothing there. So I need to move that. But I found this at GameStop tonight. And I love these giant 10-inch Funko Pops. I'm not a collector as far as like saving the box and all. I just think they look cool. And he was on clearance for 20 bucks, which, you know, for these big ones, 20 bucks is pretty cheap. Usually they're like 40 to 50. So I was pretty excited. So I grabbed that for $20 and he'll live up there with the other guys. So that's kind of cool. 
All right, and so I sold something that I'm a little concerned about. This is Story of a Girl. No, it's not that. That's just a song. Oh, I think it's up there. Okay, I see it. Hazel, are you still on there? I'm gonna need to move you, dear. We're going far this time. <laughs> she looks scared. There you go. She's very hard to kind of get upset. Okay, so up here we sold this. And uh, I'll tell you why I'm concerned about it in a minute. I did list these cups. Um, man, I'm just going to have to take them all the way down. These cups that I got for, you know, five bucks for the lot of them. I thought they were cool. They're unique. Stanley Cup playoffs for the Hurricanes 2019. I went to one of the playoff games. Um, they probably had them there when I was there. But they got destroyed by, I don't know what team. It's a black and yellow team. Boston Bruins, maybe? I don't know. It was like one of the first playoff games and they got wrecked. So it was a little disappointing. I'm really not a big sports fan, but I do like going to hockey games. They're kind of fun because they're action packed. So yeah, this is what sold. And so, yeah, so this is a CD burner and CD recorder. It's a Philips, got the both sides. I paid five bucks for it. The guy who sold it to me was really nice. I don't think I've gone live with the yard sale video yet, but it's one where my daughter found some American Girl dolls. And uh, the concern I have with it is the CD trays, when I first tested it, I'd hit um, open and they weren't opening. Neither one was. And I came back to it later that day and they were opening fine. Every time that I touched it, they would open perfectly fine. And so I don't know what happened. I'm going to test it again right now and we'll see what happens. All right, I wanted to get it off the laptop. Let's see. Moment of truth. Uh-oh. See, that's a little scary to me. Look at that. It didn't open. And see, then it opened fine. Uh-oh. Now, see, I'm nervous about this thing. See, now it's fine. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to message this guy. I hate to cancel it. Now it opens. Third time I press it, it opens. And what's crazy is once it opens, it'll open every single time. This is what happened last time. See, last time I didn't know if it was a fluke because I tested it, it opened. I powered it down, powered it back on, it opened again. Oh, I think I'm going too fast for it. Yeah. Maybe it's just got like slow memory or something. If now it's working fine. Really weird. So let's power it off, power it on, and see if it does it again. Oops. <laughs> so this thing might just be equipped with like slow, a slow like memory chip or something. Cause even powering it on takes a minute and then it comes on and it works fine. So it's like, it's like a, a bit slow on the uptake. Opens fine, opens fine. So this is the thing I think, and I, I played CDs on it, played fine. So I think it's weird. Um, it's like it works fine if the customer who bought this is patient enough to try it a couple of times. Like I'm hoping if he just plugs it in and walks away and comes back and then there you go, it's good forever. But I'm wondering if it has to do with like taking it down and holding it sideways and then putting it down. And now that it's even and level, it's fine. So. The problem is when it ships, it's going to go all different directions. So when it gets there, it's going to act funky again. I'm going to try unplugging it one time. This is probably getting boring. I don't know if I'll leave all this in for you guys because you might get bored of it. But I, I'm curious. So I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in, turn it on, and see if it opens this time. Let's see. Yeah, see? See how long it takes to boot? I think it's just slow. All right, so it's booted up. It says insert disc. Worked perfectly. Worked perfectly. Okay, so I am going to assume that means that basically when you're pulling it down, like when you're holding it sideways, it messes up the trays. And then once it sits, give it a minute, it opens. So at least, you know, I can tell him how to make it work. And then once it works, and you have it where it's gonna live, it seems to work fine every single time. I just don't think it likes trans being transported, so. 
So this uh, CD player sold for $79.99, $18.32. Hopefully I'm not refunding that money in a week. We'll see though. If I am, I am. It's not a big deal. At least it gets out of my garage. But I'm hoping it works out for the customer because I think it does work. It just takes a minute to start working. Okay, Rudy wrote me back. Um, Rudy was the one messaging about my poison cassettes that I thought was saying he wanted to pay six bucks free shipping, and I just wasn't super motivated to do six bucks free shipping on those cassettes. Just because after fees and stuff, I'm gonna get like three bucks out of them, and I kinda like Poison the band, so I'd almost rather keep them than get three bucks out of them. But uh, he wrote back and he said he was thinking with shipping, so like plus shipping, not with shipping. So $6 plus $2.89 um, for the cassettes. So if that's the case, Rudy, I'm fine with that. Like I said, um, I just wasn't like super motivated by that price point. So I'm going to send you an offer right now for $6 plus shipping. And if you do want it, go ahead and hit that buy button. Thanks, man. All right, so let's take a look at our grand total for the day. That is 13 orders. Grand total is $566 in sales. Obviously, you know, there's fees and stuff that come out of that. Shipping comes out of that. So that's not really a true indicator. Let's say probably the real number is around 30 percent less maybe 40 after shipping yeah probably 30 so it's probably more like 300 bucks through 50 that i'll actually see you that um but yeah still a great day for a what is today thursday it's a pretty big sale day for thursday so i'm pretty pumped about that i'm gonna edit this video get those shipped and then don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the live stream and watch the train wreck that is me on a live stream <laughs> all right thank you guys make sure you subscribe Bye bye